Stop expecting your dynamic body to act the same way every single day throughout the month or every single day throughout a lifespan. In this video, I'm going to discuss why this happens and why our ADHD symptoms change so dramatically when we have changes in estrogen. ADHD symptoms are closely linked with estrogen. Our estrogen cycles fluctuate on a relatively stable cycle throughout the month for most of us. We don't typically experience large changes in estrogen until either we are postpartum or we go through perimenopause. These two times in a woman's life can be some of the most dysregulating times, especially if you have ADHD that is undiagnosed. Options for women experiencing these symptoms include stimulant and non-stimulant options for the ADHD specifically. We are experiencing a big shift in our culture with respect to HRT and hormones being available to perimenopausal women. It will theoretically make this therapy more accessible for women, which is great. If you're experiencing pretty significant ADHD symptoms throughout your cycle, tracking your cycles can be one of the most effective things and planning your month according to this. Learning to say the word no and not taking on projects during the second half of your cycle, aka the luteal phase, can be extremely helpful in self-preservation and making room in your schedule so that you don't get blindsided when your estrogen suddenly tanks and you can't get the same amount of work done. I hope adults with ADHD develop systems to become high achievers. If this sounds like you, comment systems below. Follow me and share this with your ADHD bestie if you